Jones, you would spend a fair bit of time in Queensland, but you wouldn't spend this much time in Gold Coast in a row, would you? How, how are you settling in? Yeah, it's been a funny circle of life almost coming back here. I mean, interesting conditions. Um, but it's been really good. Been up here for a couple of days. Uh, the weather's just come good for training, which is nice. But uh, I think everyone's settled in really well, and we're looking forward to our games. What about all the weirdness of it, living with the Eagles, training here, Gold Coast to here? It's like you're playing Brisbane and then up the road. It's the whole thing is a bit odd. It's uh, certainly unusual. Um, might not ever happen again this sort of circumstance, but. Um, yeah, we've got a great setup at the hotel or the resort. Um, yeah, it's just an opportunity to get some games. You don't have to travel as much on a weekly basis or fortnightly. Um, yeah, we're just trying to embrace it, something different. Um, be a good story in the future to be able to tell people. And yeah, we're, yeah younger teams are, I think, helps. Everyone's just really excited. How is the other Australian who were drafted to Queensland, trained Melbourne, trained Perth, and everything back here? Is the unsettled nature of your career helped? To win the nature of this season? Oh, may, oh, maybe indirectly, but um, it's been a funny path. But um, yeah, it's just a different, different experience, I guess. Again, but I think the great thing is being in a team environment. You can get through anything together. Um, try and enjoy it. Find the fun in things, and hopefully perform really well. Everyone wants to know about Jesse. Whether he's going to play the ones or the twos this weekend. How, how has he been? Is he up and about, how's he been around the guys? He's really good. Uh, it's been great to have him back and um, he seems in a really good place. Training really well, it looks good. Uh, he's a great athlete. Um, so we've got yeah, main session now, obviously. Um, I'm honestly not sure what the team actually is at this stage, but obviously um, he'd love to play when he can and if, if that's now or in the near future, it'll be great. As a midfielder, you know, seeing someone like him running at you, it'd be nice to have that target as well. You've got other good ones, but it'd be nice to have him up there too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, key forwards. Um, they don't come around all that often, so it's great to have them. And we've got a few good ones, so yeah, hopefully we get him up and going soon. How much time have you spent actually training with him? Given him in the club long, and he was injured, then he went away for a while, then the shutdown. Is it? Are you still sort of finding out how he plays and what he can do? I guess a little bit. Yeah, I wouldn't have had too many sessions with him at this stage, to be honest, but. Uh, he's a great player, just try and kick it out in front of him and he'll hopefully mark it. But um, yeah, I guess with a young team, like I said, we're just trying to grow together a bit. Hopefully he's a massive part of that. Has this at the moment been beneficial for getting, getting the group bonded and, and spending time together after so long apart? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, cause I went back to Adelaide for that period, six or seven weeks, and um, probably coming back, having to quarantine and do a few of the harder things that sort of made Probably a few bonds a bit stronger as well. Um, yeah, like I said, yeah, just trying to be optimistic. The whole team is, and um, I hope it's a great thing for us. Does that help to sort of settle into a new club when you give you see away, you don't have a lot of time, and now you're back in that situation? I mean, how has that been for a brand new player? Yeah, I think it definitely helps any form of adversity as such. I think it just brings people together. You can have a laugh about things, and uh, it's been really good. Uh, yeah, it's a great group of guys. Like I said, really young, and they're just pumped to play, so it's been good to be a part of. There's a bit of a final, I guess, uh, for the spots uh, like yourself with uh, Blake coming in as well and uh, Brett Muley really impressed in round one too. Um, uh, how's the, the, the competitive nature between those guys fighting for those sort of wing spots? Stephen Hill, another one that's pressing for this game too. Yeah, clearly only a good thing. Um, I think the, be oh, the best teams, you have a big bunch of, especially midfielders who can rotate you know, on the flanks and wing midfield as well. So um, hopefully as many of us can be f as fit as possible and push each other along and play really well together. Still be a few guys from Brisbane that you have played with, I'm guessing. Douglas Wilco, maybe a couple others. Yeah, yeah. Do yeah. you remember yeah. how they played? Does it, have, does it help at all or has it been too long? Oh, I think it's been too long, to be honest, but it's probably I don't know, half a dozen to six or eight players who I was good mates with, so they're still going. Um, yeah, oh, it has been a while now, but it'll be good fun anyway. Who's there that you were closest to? Did you live with any of the guys yeah, I lived with uh, Darcy Gardner. Um, Louis Tarley's just left and probably Steph Martin, Mitch Robinson, a few of those guys. So, um, Just on the um, Black Lives Matter, has the guys had a discussion yet about what you might do, whether it be a training or before the game or during the game or anything like that? We've seen a couple of clubs yep. take stands already. Would you be doing anything like that? Have you had that chat? Yeah, the club's in um, contact with Brisbane and they're working out um, something hopefully for the game, so that will play out at this stage. but. Um, I think Frio, we've got a really good 
um, all the indigenous impact on our club has been massive and a big following as well. So it's something I think really sort of special for our club. Um, and it's just important people, I guess, learn the messaging and um, respect, I guess, that, the voice. So uh, hopefully something really good's done, yeah. Have you had any conversations or do you plan to with uh, some of your senior guys, some of like the Michael Walters, and just try to help understand a little bit? Is, have you had those chats or will you? Uh, well, we, we actually had reconciliation week last week and oh, the other week, and um, we sort of did a little bit then, which was before the incidents occurred. But uh, it's always something I think we talk about as a club, and we've got a great respect there. Um, I'm not sure if anything formal will happen um, within the club, but it's something yeah, I think we all really respect and, and love about the boys we've got here and about the, the comp as well. One of the other issues of today that been played. Just feeling that they're maybe doing some things wrong out of the COVID policies and having the NRL as well. How conscious are you not wanting to be the bloke who steps out of line, shuts down the comp, shuts yeah. the game, and all those sort of things while you're up here? Yeah, well, I haven't heard what, what's happened, but um, yeah, clearly there's a f fair few rules in place still at this stage. Um, I don't know, I guess, yeah, you just follow them. Uh, they're pretty, pretty clear, but ideally um, it loosens off a little bit in, at some stage, but. It, uh, I think the, it was important just to have these strong ones in place just to get the games up and going. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's happened, so I can't really comment. Yeah, you guys been able to get to the beach sort of on their bail today. What, what are the rules around that for you guys and how much sort of, um, how important is it to be able to just get out and get a bit of fresh water and do something like that? Yeah, so, yeah, we're essentially living like other players around the, the country, so you're allowed to do something for recovery or fitness or... Um, just get outdoors for a takeaway sort of thing. So there's still opportunities to yeah, just get out, freshen up a little bit, get in the water, which is good up here. Um, yeah, still just being smart and following all the rules.